All right, guys, today we're going to make melodies in FL Studio from scratch. So we're using Keyscape, the, plug, the uh, preset's called Double Felt Grand. It's going to give you that Drake type sound. The key is to use different styles of music theory. Um, so what we're going to do is start with a major chord, C major. We're going to move to another major chord, D major, but it's expected to play D minor if you're in the C major scale. And then we're going to go to A minor. So we're pulling from different um, scales, basically. Okay, so here's what it sounds like. Okay, so let's record that. Let's do dun, dun. so somewhere around 112. We're just gonna play kind of slow. We could always speed up the tempo. It's not something that needs to be super fast. Record notes and automation. And you could repeat that. So usually melodies start with chords. Chord and melody are basically like mixing and sound design. They're two in the same thing, depending on how you understand it. So let's hit control Q to quantize. When you play it by hand, you tend to get that natural velocity. See how this kind of fades? It's not just one velocity. So half the reason why your stuff sounds fake is because it's all playing the same volume. Okay, so again, we're going from a C major seven to a D major seven actually, excuse me, a D major with the um, tonic up top. And then we're moving to the A minor seventh uh, at the end. Now what we're doing in short, if you were to change this chord to a G, so let's say you wanted to expand this, you could copy this chord over. You could take this whole thing and pull this D to G. So let's hit shift up. And then now we're playing G. This creates what's called a deceptive cadence going from the tonic to the dominant back to the tonic of another relative scale. In this case, the relative scale of C major is A natural minor. And the question is, how do you make this less jumpy? Because you're going pretty far in distance from B to G. Okay, so what you can do is just take these top two notes, pull them down, but you'll notice how we're playing an octave, so one of the notes overlaps that G. So what we could do is just take these notes, pull them down. And it's more, it's less jumpy, so it feels more cohesive. Most people leave those huge melodic jumps. So all I'm saying is melody comes from chords. So if you were to play over top, you would just play those chords, just single note at a time. So I'm just going to play that. I'm just playing the chords backwards. So it's dun, dun, dun. Now let's play these over top of each other on pattern two. And you'll see once I map these out, you'll realize let's clone this because in FL, it'll cut the sound off if I play both sounds at the same time. Record notes and automation. I'm just playing C major seven. I'm just playing the same chord, just spaced out. So it's the same thing. And then this adds that top line to it. I'm just going up an octave. I messed up because I was thinking too much. It usually happens when you think too much. Now, I don't like this. Duh, so I'm going to take that out. So I want to go. Duh, and just lift the velocity here. Just a taste. No. Here, I play way too early. Okay, so I should have put the metronome on, but hit alt left click and just drag this over. Here. 
Now what I'm going to do actually to make this more lined up, we're going to copy the first thing, copy it over, because I need to change that second chord. Remember we changed it to G. Let's just hit shift up. One, two, three, four, five, five. Okay. Now I'm not going to play that huge jump right here. So we need to figure out a voicing to where this makes sense. So if we pull these down an octave, then what's the bottom note is D. So I'm going to move this note to D. Okay. And then pull that down and then just have that G play. And here I'm going to use a whole step up, which is just the bottom note raised up an octave. Okay, so that's how you create more natural melody. It starts with chords. If you don't know harmony, it melody's not going to make any sense unless you're using intervals. Even still, that chord progression just made that melody make sense. So let's move to like a different type of melody. So that's like a Drake type organic melody what about melodies that are less musical and more like just sound effect type melodies in this case you're going to really have to dig for the right sound i know that sounds so stupid but until you find the right sample that just stands out across all the sounds it's gonna you just can't do this oh, let me just open up scorch just to show you what i'm talking about so the scorch plugin has sounds that were designed specifically for this purpose they were huge sounds okay so my best friend jacob made this plugin it's by software audio plugins called scorch and if we pick for example a combination it's called heaven's gate right here like if you listen to the sound it morphs to where i can literally play one note and it does all this stuff i was there when he was sound designing for his plugins both octave and for i'd assume scorch I saw his process and I can show, I can tell you it's a thought process behind sound designing this stuff. So the sound is not just the sound, it's other stuff. You see it moving? So this allows you to create one note melodies that are doing a lot more than just playing one note. To me, that's a darker sound. You wouldn't play really jazzy chords with that. Okay, so let's just find a sound. Like some sounds just stand out and you don't have to think about it. Like this one just stands out. Now brass is known for its triumphant, um, like association, I'll say. Let's record this. wrong note I was trying to do something else so here in hip-hop we use a lot of what are called half steps so if you're doing more hip-hop melodies there's no rules but I will say there are more half steps used in hip-hop um, so what that means is you're going from one note directly to a note above or below it's called a half step we also use a lot of effects in hip-hop so you're not just going to use the sound as is um, I just learned recently how to do a scratch effect. Let me see if I remember how he did this. Actually, I think we need a sample. Never mind. Forget what I just said. Um, so if we go back into the samples, I can swap the sound and it still creates that vibe. And that's because that half step is so important to hip hop. So let's go through all the melodies we created so far. I know that was simple, but hip hop doesn't have to be complicated. What we do to it is complicated. So you can take this audio, you could take this MIDI and turn it into audio. You uh, hit control, left click and highlight, right click on the track, consolidate from time selection in this case. And we're going to make sure we have the insert effects on no master effects. So we converted this to audio. What you could do is double click in here, right? You could switch the mode to stretch mode so that when you change the BPM, it stays the same like tonality, but then right click open in a fruity slicer. We're going to slice it by the beat. Some people do half beat. It just depends on what you like. I like the beat. Okay. Then we're going to move this pattern. Control X, move it to a new pattern. Control V. And we're going to mute the original loop so that it doesn't double, uh, you know, like it doesn't play over the top of the other one. Okay. And then let's do that. 
Okay, now what you could do inside of Slice, uh, Fruity Slicer is then go inside. You could change the pitch. You could pull that up one octave. You could time stretch each slice, something you can't do with the audio in its regular form. Then you could pull up the attack. So we could send this to the mixer by hitting Control L. And a technique I like to do, this is a hidden technique. I showed it a while ago, but only a couple of people saw it. So if you're watching now, you're pretty much new to this. Um, let's add a reverb with a long tail. Okay, now some people use a reverb that pitches up, but it doesn't really matter. And then we're going to run halftime after the reverb. You could also use gross beat. There's a preset called, um, if you go to presets, go to momentary, then go to half speed. Just make sure your sync time is four and your post sync is four. The reason some other people use halftime, the plugin, is because it can slow down stuff for longer periods of time. So it doesn't repeat itself over and over every bar if you don't want it to. Okay, so we're going to use halftime for now. And what we're doing is sending the melody to the reverb. And then what it's going to do is slow down the reverb. And it's going to create this really sinister sound. Now we're going to pitch this up another octave because it's already kind of low frequency. So to do that, we're going to go to the wrench, the cog icon and go to the envelope. And then we can right click. Now this works great for piano. So if you have a lot of piano, let me just show you what this sounds like. I'm going to route this piano to the reverb and let's just. I think it works best on piano. So I'm just going to play random things on this piano. So I would use that effect more on the piano more than the um, the sound we use, but it's just something to try out. So let's record some random piano. So I'm just playing random stuff. And now you can hear that piano going through the reverb and then slowing down. So to make this more sinister, you can make the tail longer and longer. And then you could blend the reverb as well. So you could pull this to 50%. Just a technique, not mandatory. Just wanted to show that to you. Okay, so let's see where we started, our different ideas. Okay, so now let's move into more of the digital side of stuff. We'll go like, we'll start with like a little Uzi Vert and then we'll move into more like Yeet type. And then, you know, that lunchbox type sound, which is very, it's just stuff you wouldn't do normally. Okay, that's why they get the sound they get. Okay, so let's start with like a little Uzi Vert sound. A plugin you might want to look into is called Silenth. It's a, it used to be one of the, you know, premier plugins to use back in the day. And it has a lot of presets. So you want to look at arpeggios, you want to look at keys, and then just, I'm just going to go through presets until we just land on one. So you're looking for anything that sounds like trance, like, like this. It has a lot of trance presets and arpeggios and different things. And I'm just playing a simple triad, so we're not playing complicated chords. Okay. 
just screams Lil Uzi Vert to me. Let's record this in. Okay, we might have to up the BPM. We're at a pretty slow BPM, but let's go to pattern. Forgot I played. I think this is playing like it's not playing what I'm playing, so we're gonna skip to a different preset. Okay, so now you get that very trance sound. You can hit Command, Control Q to quantize. At this point, you would just try not to overkill the beat by adding too much, but this gives like a little Uzi Vert feel. So it's about going to this synth and like stuff that sounds like this synth. So again, we're going to go through presets. Now let's try to look for a lead of some sort. So I'm going to mess around with some presets. So you can see how like that 80s sound, or that trance sound, whatever you want to call it. It's just about the presets we're using, really. But again, it's going back to the half step in hip hop, which you've seen earlier, the half step's really important. So we're using octaves here, and then a half step. And then we're using that minor, excuse me, major second here. Now you can add effects, so let me just show you a couple effects. So there's a plugin called Fruity Love Filter. Some people love it, some people don't. But um, there's a preset in here if you kind of dig deeper. And just check the different patterns. You can find different patterns for different movements in here. So this one has a pretty cool sound to it. So you've heard this one on the future record. It's called PC Low Pass. So we're going to try out different filters. This one, forget what record was from future. So try filter. So you could add all these effects. Okay, so that's how you get it modern. And then you just add the modern 808s. So we have all different styles right now. We're moving into more digital styles. So this is more organic. We're going to start with that piano. Then we're going to move into the more digital.
All right, so we have the organic sound, we have the time stretch sound, we have the, the little Uzi Vert type sound where it's like trance. Now let's move into like yeet type stuff. This one is a little, because they just combine so many things, it's hard to pinpoint rules with this genre because you can be out of key, in key, and out of key again, and still it somehow makes sense. It's one of those like happy accident type of genres, it sounds like to me. Um, so trying to think of a synth that would give you that type of sound. So Serum is the go-to, but it doesn't necessarily have um, the sounds that we're looking for. So let's use some Xenology stuff. If my CPU goes crazy, then we'll just use something else. So Xenology has sounds from Roland. And let's start off on some like specific synth sounds. Let's go to the Juno 106. And then let's narrow this down to some synth sounds. And it should have like brassy type stuff. <laughs> So we're going to cycle through some of these and let's get a tempo going. All right, so we're going to start on the 80s vibe and then we'll move and build around that. My ear has to have a musical foundation or else it just gets too chaotic. So I'm playing F major seventh chord and then we're moving to G major and then we're moving to A uh, minor. Hit the wrong note because my finger was doing too much. So, dun, dun. okay, so let's hit control up. Let's hit control Q to quantize. Give me one second. All right. So now we have that sound. You could swap it out for any sound. I'm using real sounds because if you have struggle, if you have a struggle making melody, try piano, guitar, or um, violin because those are stringed instruments and it's easier for our ear to tend to make melodies with those instruments and you could always swap out the preset later so you can make your like stuff in a piano and then convert it to something see how it's like still musical and it has that feel because of um, me writing in a simple instrument now we can go into the weird sounds this is weird interface here. Okay, so I like this sound, but let's switch the key. So let's hit shift down. So we get in that vibe. Now here you can start adding a bunch of effects like Fruity Love Filter, for example. I like this one because it's atmospheric and then we could blend it in. Okay, so now let's start adding like the yeet. Again, we're going to build like a pot of stew of sounds and then we're going to have something that leads the, the front of the sound. Okay, so let's open up different plugins. Let's try Nexus. I haven't opened this up in a while. So the whole goal, it's making me log into everything. Whatever. F that. Let's replace this with... Mm, what plugin don't I need to log into? Let me think here. Let's try... Da -da -da, Sakura. Take control L, send it to the mixer. So we're going to copy the notes and just layer for now until we have a distinct thing we're trying to pull out of it. Let's click on here, go to the presets. So I like the bite on this sound. 
So I'm going to keep everything except for the top notes. And then we're going to create a rhythm out of the bass notes. So it's resembling like an 808, but it's not. Also, we're at a really slow BPM. Okay, so now we need something to move fast, even though we're at a low BPM. Let's try that synth we, synth we had before. Let's copy and paste it into silent. So we still need something that fills out the sound. For it now, we're just gonna use serum, some kind of sawtooth, super sawtooth, to widen out the sound. Oh. Oh, yeah, FL froze on me. All right, FL just froze on me, so I had to restart it. Um, so let's try this again. Let's open up serum. You could use any synth plugin that gives you eight voices of a sawtooth. Okay, and then we're gonna copy the bass notes from the Xenology, paste them. To take out the top notes. We just want the bass to be wide. Now this is a more musical approach to, to yeet. Of course, there's a lot of stuff you could do to it, like chopping it up, flipping it, glitching it and all that. For now, let's just widen out the sawtooth. Let's add a low pass filter to cut some of the highs out. Now, because this is a pattern, what you could do in FL Studio 21 is go to the left side of the playlist in the pattern section, you could right click and transpose. I recommend transposing plus three, which is just three or minus three. Try out different keys. Transpose down six, which is down three. Kind of like this frequency. Okay, so let's hear all our stuff from the start to finish. Yeah, we're going from organic to more digital. All right, so let's try one more thing here. So we now let's move into like the the niche. I'm trying not to go too niche with it because you're tr I'm trying to teach you general principles so that if the genre ever changes, you would still know how to make good melody. When it comes to yeet and like the lunchbox sounds, it's so per the song, it's very hard to extract the framework from it. Um, so what we're going to do, though, is show you a couple things. The first thing is a glitch without any plugins. So, for example, we're going to use purity here and let's load up some kind of preset. Let's load up maybe like a fast synth. Let me think. It could be Bell. Let me see. What do we have here? Let's try a fast synth. Let's 
Let's try. Well, let me think for a second. We're looking for stuff that's less string based. A lot of these are string based. Kind of has a yeet type sound to it. Okay, so let's say we want to play. What was I just playing? Just playing A minor, and then we're moving into the suspended second. So this is just a test chord, so don't try to copy this. Okay, so. Dun, dun. I'm going to take this third, pull it down one to create the. E. Now, hold up, let me get the. I forgot we're at 112 BPM, so I got to do everything in a weird time. Here we go. Now this isn't the timing one. Yeah, see my ears at a different BPM. So for the time being, let's crank this up to the BPM it should be. 140s, 150s. Okay. Or else this stuff lines up in a weird way. So again, you don't need to copy what I'm doing. This is just me trying to adjust the tempo here. So let's say you want to glitch. You could highlight this, hit Alt U, and create a chop right inside of the piano roll. You could change the uh, the timing. Now, I should have made it longer, okay, and then done that again, so that the chops are a little bit bigger. So you could do the same thing with single notes. Okay, so let's say you want to glitch that this last note, you could hit Alt to U and then chop it up into fours, for example. So it's like brum. It's hard to hear with this reverb. Let me pick a shorter sound. There we go. So it was without any glitch plugins. And also if you're using FL Studio stock plugins, you could double you could double click a note and add a slide note. This only works for stock plugins and not third party. So if you're using any plugins that aren't made by ImageLine, this won't work. This little slide note. But I'll switch this melody to a different sound from FL so that we can hear it. Like Sakura, for example. Let's load up a pluck type sound. And let me paste it like over. Wait. Paste it. And then let's move it to the right so that we can hear both side by side to hear that difference. <laughs> So he goes here like that. So little things you could do in the piano roll you might have overlooked. You can also mess with the filter amount um, in FL Studio stuff, or this is unsupported parameter, so we can't do it for this plugin. But you could do the note pitch. You could also do the panning of a note. So this is like Uzi moving in towards collabing with other artists. Still in the Uzi lane with this one, because it's more progressive. And again, Yeet probably wouldn't use that hard string, but I'm using that as an example. Let's try to figure out a decent sound that doesn't have too much reverb. Forget my. Oh, we're in song mode this way. Okay. So this would be more of like a short yeet type sound.
can also highlight a note. You could hit Alt A to create um, different arpeggios per the note. So you could do three range arp. And where's our notes? Alt. I don't know why it's doing a singular octave here. It should be doing a stretched octave. Let's try highlighting multiple. Oh, wrong button. Alt A, not Control A. There we go. And you can mess with the time multiplier. You don't have to do this. Again, there's no rules. So it goes bring. Now again, you don't have to do that. find a different sound in um, Sakura. It's a cool sound, little violin. It already sounds lo-fi. Okay, so I don't want to sit here for a decade. I mean, you pretty much saw every melody technique outside of extreme time stretch. That's where melodies come from. And then we didn't go too much over guitar melodies. Maybe let's add, let's do one guitar. Okay, so, but it all starts with chords. So let's try, I forget what the F, oh, I don't have that one. Um, Luthier is a nylon, I believe. To trying to determine what kind of sound I want. Let's go with nylon for now. So here's Ample Guitar L, and I'm gonna turn off the effects so that we don't have extra processing. Okay, so this guitar is pretty diverse, um, but it all starts with chords. Okay, so going back to the beginning, let me play with my keyboard. <laughs> So starting with chords, again, you're playing it rhythmically. One thing I learned from Travis Marsh, he said, think about the happy birthday song. Now, if you think about it, I didn't sing the notes of happy birthday, but you recognize that as the happy birthday song. And rhythm is melody. So rhythm is just as important as the actual notes. It's because rhythm is a frequency. It's a cycle. That's how the Neptunes got so many hits. Off of two notes. It's because it's the rhythm, not actually the notes. So nowadays, they're getting into more emo type stuff, which is a little bit longer. So the easy way to think about this is, instead of starting from the bottom note of a chord, you're going to start from the top. This is called the fifth. And we're going to play simple triads. Let's start with um, FAC. Let's go down an octave. And then we're going to start with the fifth and then move to the, uh, the um, root note. And then you can strum back up. This might be a little fast, 148 BPM. but So we're going to make sure also the notes overlap a little bit. That's me adding the seventh in there. Technically, you would just play the fifth again. Okay, so you can see it's kind of quirky drawing in notes that overlap, but that's the key to the majority of the sound you're looking for. Now you would switch the chord maybe, so let's make this a minor. Okay, 
Okay, so now it sounds darker. And then you repeat that. Now for my ear, I don't want to hear the da 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 da. So I'm just gonna drag out the note. And then you could transpose that to let's do D. I mean, excuse me, we went from F minor to Let me just go by my ear, okay? Now, usually with minor, you go down. There's no rule to it, though. Dun, dun. We could go down a half step or to C, to A, which would be D minor, like I said. That's too much of a jump for my ear. I don't like that big of a jump. Let's try it. just a half step. So... Also, with this, you can use what are called anchor notes. So you can move just one note and keep everything else the same. got to find ways to make it less repetitive that's the guitar um this specific plugin is a little like you got to learn how to use it with key switches and all this so instead we're going to use omnisphere sonic extension called uh, nylon sky just to show you the sound difference you get and it's going to revoice the chords as well so let's go to the sonic extension nylon sky let's go to clean Gotta fix my uh, buffer. here all day for guitar melodies but it goes back to chords and chord voicing okay so let's just go through all our melodies we created today if you want a part two like the video and subscribe and let me know in the comments make melodies just join us in our premium section go to premium.busyworksbeats.com we have over 60 music production courses for free so come join for a 14-day free trial peace